Hello again. Uh, this is another Horse Creek Turd lot. Um, similar to the one right, I guess it would be right below it. Um, this is the la latest one I put on um, since I showed the green briar. Um, this flint right here come from a hillside. It's a little different than uh, some of the other stuff I sold. Seems to work even better. If uh, you could, just I believe it works even better than the other. Uh, I made a point without even heat and treat heat treating it. Uh, you can heat treat if you like, but uh, I know you can make points of it without it. Um, this stuff is very colorful, more colorful than probably the other stuff I'd sold, but it does have some cracks in it. That's just the type of flint it is. You got to work around the cracks. Um, instead of me having to spall out every single one, I'm just going to uh, show you the pieces, and you can make your judgment. Where you can work around those cracks, and I know you're going to get some points out of this stuff, uh, whether or not you're going to saw it or beat it out, but uh, you will run into some cracks, and I think that uh, goes well with most Horse Creek. Most Horse Creeks kind of uh, sometimes can be kind of cracky, but uh, still some good pieces. They're real good pieces in here. Just wanted to uh, warn you of that uh, and let you let you kind of make a judgment on that. Um, but I'm going to go through each piece, and here we go. Probably one of the nicest pieces in here. It's a huge piece and it's got the tricolor there. I mean, that is one solid piece. I mean, I'm not seeing any cracks in that piece, but uh, I'm just saying it has been it has been cracky in places. There's one with like a little fossil in it. I thought that was neat. <clears throat> you might get a point out of that with the fossil still in it. The red piece. Look at this tricolor. One, two, three, four, actually four colors in that. Now that is awesome. That's some of the most awesome flint uh, I found on this hillside. But like I said, I've made some points uh, in the past of the same stuff. and I just know for a fact that uh, you were running some cracks. But there's still a lot of good there too. A lot of good points in this stuff. Beautiful red. I've gonna got this kind of spalled down for you. <clears throat> Hard not to keep something like that after you spalled it. Look at that piece. That piece looks solid. That's a good piece. There's another little spall. About ready to make a point. A little piece. You can tell the color. I didn't wash that off good. You can see the color in it. There's the tricolor. Again. Another tricolor. Uh, this got some wild looking flint in it here. Don't know exactly what they get out of that. I mean, you can make some drills in this horse creeks. Uh, it's only highly solid after you. I wouldn't waste none of it. What I flaked off, I'd make bird points out of. I'd get something out of all of it. There's a like a bullseye in that. It's neat. This piece here. Don't know exactly what it's going to do. It's huge. It looks solid. Um, I know there's points in it. There's a tricolor. Last piece of tricolor. Fixing away this. Uh, well, that's almost deep cherry red. But uh, I'm going to weigh this stuff right here. And uh, I was going to show you the point I made. I made this point about an hour last night. It's been raining for like three weeks here, it feels like. A little green briar. Um, Tricolor point. Until I got it good and thin. But uh, I've only been napping for about a year, so some of you expert nappers are going to do a lot better than this. But um, I know you can beat some points out of it without uh, ever heat treating it. I know some of you guys are asking that question. But, you know, I, if you want to heat treat it, that's up to you. I think it might even work better when you heat treat it, but I know after you heat treat it for so long, you can not change the color of Horse Creek a little bit if you heat treat it too long. I'd go five, eight hours at about 450. And I've heard uh, one of my friends has uh, emailed me uh, since buying some flint from me, and he told me he uh, brought it up to uh, 450 in a kettle and uh, then just lowered the temperature on it. It didn't matter how the length of time, but uh, you'll have to experiment with your own. I've only been napping a year, 
So I'm still learning from you guys more than you're learning from me. But I know you can make points out of this, Horse Creek Church, and uh, put some color in them frames. And uh, I, I, if you have any questions, just uh, just email me. I'll be happy to work with you um, any way I can. Uh, thanks for looking.